Hello everyone, and welcome to my Vanderpump Bombshell channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Jax Taylor focused on his weeks-long spell in a psychological wellness office in an extensive and profound post shared to his Instagram page on Monday. Following alienated spouse Brittany Cartwright's separation recording last week, Jax, 45, thought back on the time he spent in treatment, uncovering that he was determined to have bipolar turmoil and post-horrible pressure problem, PTSD, as he shared his considerations on his future. Barely a month prior, I looked into a concentrated long-term treatment office terrified of the obscure and what I would learn about myself. Jack started on September 2. After numerous long stretches of realizing something was off base, however not knowing precisely exact thing it was, I as of late discovered that I was determined to have bipolar confusion and PTSD. As indicated by Jax, his conclusions have been a ton to process. However, I've returned home to my child with a newfound feeling of harmony. He kept flagging his three-year-old child, Cruz Michael Kopchi. I'd lie on the off chance that I said I wasn't terrified for the future, yet my center is simply attempting to be a preferable rendition of myself over I was yesterday. Psychological well-being is a deep-rooted skirmish of not allowing it to control you yet, rather you figuring out how to control it. Jax proceeded to thank the people who have upheld him in the midst of his psychological well-being difficulties. Much thanks to you, every individual who has connected in help and who likewise imparted their very own battles to me. Your messages have assisted me more than you with knowing, he expressed. In the wake of sharing the posts, some of Jack's siphon rules castmates and individual Bravo Britties offered their help by loving his message. After Brittany's separation recording last week, an insider advised individuals that while the choice to tap out on her marriage was difficult, Brittany realized it was something she needed to accomplish for the well-being of herself and her child. She filed to push ahead and shut down this turbulent cycle they've been living in, the source shared. There's a great deal that has happened throughout recent months that she was unable to look past. This choice wasn't made gently, however, she feels determined that it was has authoritatively right sought legal separation from Jax Taylor. Anybody might have seen the part it coming far in advance, and Jax is by all accounts taking it well. Insiders near the Vanderpump Decides alum have said that he wasn't surprised by the separation documenting. He's prepared to continue on. As a matter of fact, this is the very thing that sources have uncovered about how Jax Taylor is adapting to the furthest limit of his marriage. Jax Taylor is ready for the separation. Clearly, Jax was presented with his legal documents on camera. Enthusiasts of the Valley will probably get to see all that work out in season two, as would be considered normal to air at some point the following spring. The conditions encompassing the separation documenting appear to be somewhat merciless. Jax Taylor just sought out of inpatient treatment for his psychological wellness. In any case, sources near the Bravo star say that he's managing it well. In reality, he's prepared to push ahead with his life and finish everything in the split with Brittany. Jax is 100% ready for pushing ahead with the separation, an insider told Page Six. What he might want to zero in on now is finding a way to co-parent their child, Cruz. He's been looked at from the marriage for quite a while now. He simply needs to have a friendly co-parent relationship. The source proceeded. Brittany Cartwright petitioned for legal separation on Tuesday, following five years of marriage. Several has been isolated for a lot of 2024. In court archives, Brittany recorded January 24 as their date of partition. The couple is continuing on from their harmful relationship. Jax and Brittany haven't seen each other since he left his inpatient treatment office. She is looking for sole physical and legitimate authority of their child yet plans to permit Jax to routinely visit. 
Brittany Cartwright is trying to stay away from Jax Taylor in the midst of their split, in spite of the fact that he guarantees that he's chipping away at himself. She has not visited. While the insider recognized that the separation was miserable for them both, they likewise realized they weren't a decent counterpart for one another. They were in an endless loop of continually battling. Obviously, fans have seen a ton of their battles work out on TV. Their horrible cycles expected to stop for their child. The source proceeded. During the season final of The Valley Season 1, Brittany addressed her costers about the straw that broke the camel's back in the marriage. The couple was having a free-for-all brawl. Brittany said that he'd been shouting at her for a really long time when she'd at last had enough. I got me and Cruz together, and we got the damnation out of that house. I'd only sort of hit where I began seeing all that he did to me, she said. Additionally, the couple was scarcely having intercourse and Brittany felt the heaviness of the whole home on her shoulders. Since petitioning for legal separation from Jax Taylor, Brittany Cartwright has been seen tolerating liquor conveyance outside her rental home. Then, at that point, she headed out to have a great time Lisa with Vanderpump and Hulu made a deal that Stasi couldn't help it. In a video shared on both of their virtual entertainment, Lisa invited watchers to prepare to a Vanderpump banner. Presently, I'm staying here and I'm thinking, what would it be advisable for me to put on the menu? Lisa said, any thoughts? The camera panned over to Stasi. Lisa, go cheddar balls. Stasi said, referring to the SVR number one. Amazing thought. Good wishes. Welcome back, sweetheart, Lisa answered. In the event that you missed it, Vanderpump Manor followed the staff at Lisa's house in France as they made extravagance encounters for visitors. Obviously, we couldn't say whether Stasi will be a visitor or one of the cast individuals from the Hulu series. Furthermore, U.S. Week After Week revealed that Stasi likewise scored an arrangement with Hulu to star in a 30-minute satire docuseries called Stasi Says. Stasi generally had a devilish funny bone alongside her critical jokes. Get that lady a Pinocchio. Truth be told, Sandoval was projected in season three of the Double Crossers. He will meet host Alan Cumming at his palace in Scotland to lie and delude his kindred cast individuals. Or on the other hand, as Sandoval calls it, a normal Tuesday. I don't have the foggiest idea how Sandoval will remain in the game as either a dependable or a swindler. Nobody will believe him as an unwavering and everybody will expect he's a swindler. As per Alan, who presents astounding looks on the show, Sandoval required a closet help. What was entertaining was his gear was lost the initial not many days. So production needed to dress him. So he has a few extraordinary thoroughly searches in the initial not many days. Alan said, certainly the principal look he has is generally excellent. He really embraced played, embraced the kilt. I was extremely satisfied and glad. Presently, I'm frightened about what the remainder of his style resembles. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.